scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It was the best that the translators could do because the word eternal is not a very good rendition. Everyone has eternal life. Everyone has everlasting life. Are we together now? everyone created by god doesn't matter whether we fell from whatever the fact that we came from him satisfies the condition to have eternal life that's why when evangelists preach they don't say will you spend eternity the question is location not the possibility everyone will spend eternal life the idea of death as we know is not cessation from living is the translation from one dimension of existence to another and that translation comes with certain possibilities if you are with God then it's called life everlasting if you are apart from him then it is called death but that does not mean you will not live again are we together the idea of what we know to be everlasting life is from the Greek word zoe please I want us to understand very simple exposition but will hold the key to our victory eternal life is a kind is a quality the idea is not another life the idea is an also passing life in quality like you go to buy stuff in the market and they tell you this one is fake or generally for everyone and then they take you into another room and they say there is another one if you have the money they can bring it down so eternal life is not one of the many lives this is what you need to understand eternal life is a quality of life that has sustained within it certain possibilities that only in Christ would they manifest being in Christ is the secret to activating that life is a life pregnant with possibilities and the nature of that life is such that the possessor of it should be like God are we together so whoever by any means can have access to that life there is an implication that that life should cause in you it should begin to produce certain effects that reflect God if by any means a plant has that life that plant will start behaving like God are we together if by any means a handkerchief possesses that life that handkerchief will begin to behave like God enshrined in that life is capacity to release all the multifaceted possibilities that are in God it is God's own life it's not an inferior type so when the Bible says this is the record that God out of his benevolence has given us zoe a class and a kind of life then the bible says that that life is in his son so the condition to possess that life is that you must accept the son outside of jesus there is no possibility of sustaining such a life now there are other kinds of lives that you can access you can access a life assisted by the realm of the spirit it may not be eternal life are we together now I can go to a native doctor to program a mystery in a charm and aid me to live a life that is higher than the normal human life 
so i will be able to demonstrate possibilities that may not be affordable to the natural man but it still is not eternal life so we are not talking of any life that is above the human life there are many kinds and quality of lives and living that are above the human life but are not god's life are we together when you meet a rich man although it's all human life because of the quality of what he or she eats and the children their health and the possibilities that come with the kind of life would be far different from someone who eats once a week once in two days are we together now when you meet someone who um has had access to certain drugs that can aid vitality you would find that whether they are supplements or whatever it is there is an advantage that those provisions create to such a person that will reflect in the quality of his life from another so when jesus is talking about eternal life it's not a cadre of lives and then his own is the highest no no eternal life is a class of life incontestable and incomparable with any other it's a class of life that reflects who god is he programmed all the possibilities in him like a software and encapsulated it in that life so that whoever receives that life receives potentials potentials notice my choice of words receives the potentials to reflect all that are in christ and all the possibilities that are enshrined in the person now many christians come to give their lives to christ we come out for an altar call we recite all kinds of things like many will be doing shortly but very few people pastor jakes really understand that kind of life are we together and not understanding what we have received will shortchange us and for many people their idea of eternal life is we only received an escape from hell which will be useful one day so for now let's keep it and go back to our normal life at death it becomes activated that is the idea that many people have about what we call eternal life so they say are you born again they say yes what they mean is i got that thing that saves me from hell but it's somewhere hidden i will keep living my defeated life and then if for any reason death comes is the trigger i bring it out as an escape are we together now the bible says whatsoever is born of god the word born of god is if it is god that introduced the seed that gave birth to it has in it it says overcomes the world not because of the possessor but because of what is inside the possessor of that life whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world and it says this is the victory that overcomes even our faith that's something i'll be discussing shortly so eternal life is not life after death eternal life is god's life that grants a man ascendance to release the possibilities of God here and now. Are we together? It is important that we understand this. It will reflect in the quality of your life and it will reflect in everything. The moment I give my life to Christ, brothers and sisters, the Bible says, listen to me carefully. It says that I have been called as a result of that initiation out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation and by implication out of the limitations that come with those systems are we together let me tell you something about eternal life eternal life is a fact one of the tenets of the christian faith is the fact that when a man declares the lordship of christ over his life he is a possessor of eternal life it's a fact there are many tenets what we call the pillars of the christian faith number one of them is that salvation is only through jesus christ you have to know what you believe salvation salvation is only through jesus christ the bible says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which men must be saved the first tenant of the christian faith 
is the exclusive authority of Christ to be the only one to bring men to the Father. No prophet, no priest, no apostle, no prophet, no religion, no sect can claim to route you through another path to the Father. The Bible says, no man cometh to the Father except by me. The authorized medium to access the Father and the life of God is Jesus Christ. You are not a Christian if you don't believe this. Number two, salvation is by grace apart from works. The second tenet of, the, of redemption, the Christian faith, the pivot upon which everything we receive is salvation as far as receiving the life of Christ comes. It is by grace through faith and not by any ritual. The word works there does not mean no action. That's not what it means. There is an action. Your faith is an action. Are we together? The works there gives an idea of ritualistic activities. I don't have to slaughter an animal. I don't have to go to the mountain in Israel to bow my head. I don't have to face the sun or face Jerusalem. All of those ceremonial rituals have been ended. The Bible says Christ is the end of that law, not the end of action. The end of the law. Are we together now? There are three dimensions of the law. Not all of them left. You have to understand this. There is the revelation of the law that is the revelation of the character of God. That will never change. It predated the law. It, it will never change. The universality of God's character is consistent. Whether from the Old Testament, the New Testament, the soul that sins will die. Nothing changes it. Grace only intercepts it, but that reality is still a fact. Are we together? Number two, there is the ceremonial activity of the law. That has been abolished. The observation of sons, observation of festivals, and, and so on and so forth, in a way to know God, is been abolished. Are we together? Number three, the rituals. The rituals that men practice in an attempt to atone for their sins. So when the Bible says Christ is the end of the law, it doesn't mean that the coming of Christ changes the character of God. The universality of God's character is a fact. I am the Lord, I change it not. Are we learning something tonight? You have to understand the tenets upon which you stand. That number one, Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. Number two, that justification by faith is an act of his grace. You must understand this. It was an activity that no man could qualify to even participate and help God. So he had to do it by himself. The only responsibility of the believer as far as the impartation of eternal life is concerned is to believe and act by faith. According to Romans chapter 10 from verse 8 and 10. It says, who shall ascend to heaven and come? He said, the word is nigh thee in thy heart and even in thy mouth, the word of faith that we preach, right? That if you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe with your heart, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, the Bible says, and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria, salvation. So justification is by faith. I don't come to God with a goat, hoping that, if, if any priest asks you to come with a goat, you see that he's not, he's not practicing all of that again. Are we together now? Very, very important. Number three. The third thing you have to understand is that the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God. The Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God. It is in the office of Jesus the Son to introduce you to that life but the personality that holds that life within you is the spirit of God and that only in partnership with him will you have capacity to release the possibilities in that life it's called the fellowship of the spirit you must know this if you want to work as a believer the Holy Spirit represents the ministry of Christ now every time the Bible says in Christ it means in partnership with the spirit that hails from him i can do all things through christ in partnership with him 
the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God and the one who makes it possible to release the potentials there listen to me very carefully you can be a possessor of the life of God but not a manifester of the possibilities contained in that life there are two different things possessing eternal life by confessing Christ is a fact has nothing to do with your feelings but walking experientially in the reality of that life has to do with your partnership with the Holy Spirit so he says grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge first Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness listen carefully according as his divine power hath given us how many things all things that pertain unto life and godliness that all things was shrouded in a mystery called Zoe brought by the Holy Spirit his very presence is the proof of Zoe in you he's the witness the spirit of adoption are we together now and then the Bible says but they are accessed through knowledge according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness it says through the knowledge here is here, here is the big confusion in the body of Christ through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us these great and exceedingly precious promises that by them by releasing them we may prove experientially that we are partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust so i have eternal life but that eternal life is a possibility potentially speaking is at work in me it will never stop the devil from buffeting you but in partnership with the holy spirit manifesting as various things including the spirit of revelation that paul prayed for in ephesians chapter one he was talking to people who were already born again but were not releasing the possibilities that came with that life and he says for this cause for as a as a token of my desire for you to walk in these dimensions i bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation wisdom revelation in the knowledge of him that your heart although has received eternal life that it be flooded with light are we together now then he says that you may understand the power that was exerted when he raised christ from the dead etc etc so i can be born again you can be born again but the reality of the implication of that life may not find expression that's why the bible says it is by grace available by grace but accessible through faith listen carefully available by grace but accessible through faith and the word faith there does not just mean believing the faith there is a summation of every partnership that you have to go through in satisfying the condition to release that so grace provides it faith hallmarked by your obedience releases it this is the equation of the believers work if it's not available by grace it cannot be accessible so when we partner with the word of god we are not ignoring the grace of god we are receiving it our obedience is a token of our reception it is available by grace but received through faith so when i tithe it is not the law i know that my prosperity and open heavens has been available by grace but my obedience is a proof that i'm interested in seeing it work in my life god cannot assume you are interested you he gave you a will and your obedience is partnering with your will so working out your salvation is not the law it's called partnership it's called koinonia it is the token of your expression it is the token of your interest to god that you want to see everything in him find expression in you zoe the life of god received by many experienced by few received by many experienced by few there are many possibilities that are enshrined in that life number one the bible tells us it's an indestructible life 
maybe let me finish what i started saying before we discuss a bit i was talking about certain pillars are we together the fellowship of the mystery that comes through partnership with the holy spirit number four the reality of righteousness righteousness Kenyon defines righteousness as the ability to stand before the presence of the father without a sense of inferiority condemnation and guilt um i i agree with that except for the fact that righteousness is another name given to the nature of god the very nature of god at work in a human is called righteousness not just an ability to stand that is the effect of righteousness it's not righteousness the effect of righteousness is that the possessor can now stand blameless but that's not necessarily the definition are we together now righteousness the nature of god at work in me the authorization to be able to access his spirit righteousness number three number what number five is that in christ and christ alone is dominion a possibility in christ and christ alone is dominion a possibility please understand this this dominion thing people chorus around as if they don't need god without god dominion is a mirage dominion means exercising sovereign power over situations over circumstances and over the forces of darkness write it down dominion the ability to exercise sovereign power sovereign authority over situations over circumstances and over the forces of darkness is only a possibility in christ every other thing outside christ is negotiation and pacifism not dominion are you hearing what i'm saying if a herbalist tells you he's trying to drive a demon it's not dominion through the mysteries of the kingdom he will pacify the spirit it's called occultic pacifism that's why the demon can be angry again and say the sacrifice is over so you have to renew it but dominion is exerting sovereign control anytime any day and remaining there not renewed by anything listen there is no sacrifice in the village that is done once and for all are you hearing what i'm saying everybody come on this is africa talk to me africa there is no sacrifice that is done once and for all whether you are aware or not somebody goes somewhere smuggles himself into a shrine and renews it can be per annum can be per two years or can be per when the gods are angry when they start manifesting the priest will now say the gods have not eaten and you are eating so people begin to die and what happens they slaughter a child or an animal and pacify that's not dominion that's negotiation that's not dominion Bishop Oedeko calls it a far above mentality. That's dominion. Where you are in a class that potentially speaking, you don't have any reason to relate with the vicissitudes here. And if at any point it comes, listen, let me tell you something about eternal life. Eternal life, listen carefully, eternal life is not a life void of challenges, but it's a life assured of complete victory. Now, thanks be to God who always always not sometimes now thanks be to god who always causes us to triumph the next time you say that you have the life of god don't think you are saying you have a designer watch a designer shirt no you are god alone from before time began you are on your throne you are God alone and right now through the good times and bad you are on your throne you are God alone listen if I give you a millionaire's ATM and I say look for some reason for just trusting me I reward that trust by giving you an ATM potentially speaking has more money than you will need in your life 
this is recession so an example with money is a very fruitful one it will help people understand are we together he gives you an eight year are we together now but for some reason you have to be trained to know that that ATM is a fact that there's money inside it's a fact that potentially speaking you have access now you may move around with your friend that you used to eat with before it does not stop that the fact that you are a current possessor of that ATM experiencing the possibilities someone must be introduced to your life or a document must be introduced that is a map that guides you and says stand before a machine the name is atm and you slot it and you are patient the dynamics of the operation this is where knowledge and understanding comes and you can hold that atm forever and stand and swallow saliva in front of a shop that the atm can buy the whole shop are we together now now you are crying to the one who gave you the atm and he's saying i have made available so out of his love giving you the atm is enough but he sent someone to come and guide you but that person is so gentle it will take your cooperation so he says look we created this atm it's not like they gave us we understand how this thing works and he say no 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 no. i went to school just hold on when i am difficult this is what many people do so you hold this atm for years and satan comes around and tells you this thing is only a small card and he says it's a small card put it in your pocket and you put it in your pocket and move around this is what makes christ look weak in the life of men this is what makes the word of god look like it is of non-effect so in spite of the fact that this reality is a fact knowledge of the systems of god the provisions that have been made in place everything we do in the kingdom is not adding to what christ has done is accessing through partnership the mysteries of the kingdom that releases those possibilities so that after five years of working with god my life should be able to reflect more of god now than it did five years ago not just in terms of finances and all of that in terms of ascendance in the spirit i should not fear five years later what i was afraid of five years before I should not be a victim five years later of what I was a victim of before. No. I prayed for a gentleman here. I believe he's here. He was in the school of ministry. He had a dream. And somebody appeared to him in the dream, punched his hand, and he woke up physically with a punch with blood. Many years before, would look at it and say, Hey, this is a serious issue. And go and shout like fools around. But when I saw it, I said, I want to touch it. Zoe away this is not the issue of prayer there is an implication to the life i hold let my the life of god make contact with that infirmity zoe god's life possessors of divine possibilities i want you to take away take your eyes away from your challenge if you want to believe this because that's what satan will use to mock you you are a possessor of that life why are you barren five years don't mock yourself and then you say it's true uh -uh. there is still a provision because to make sure that you release this life he still gave unto some apostles and prophets and look at all the provisions he put in place he gave you his life gave you his spirit gave you his word sent gifts in the body so that we are not without excuse if you fail you neglected the systems of god you neglected his life so you go to hell you neglected his word so there is no growth you neglect his spirit no direction you neglect the gifts so no lifting anyone that fails in life listen to me it's not god he neglected the systems the life of god the spirit of god the word of god the gifts that he has sent Just like there are people here looking at me who have never been interested in the life of God. The life of God is the most superior reflection of his love and benevolence. More than giving you a pastor. More than giving you a prophet and apostle. More than giving you the Bible. More than giving you whatever it is. You have to receive them in that order. You don't receive his life, 
even if you receive his prophets you will not maximize your stay the prophets can only assist as guided by god they cannot impart life a man of god can impart every other thing aside from eternal life i can impart healing i can impart an anointing i can prophesy to you and your life will change but i cannot say be born again i can even stand before god to declare your sins forgiven right in terms of the limitations that stand between you but that is only a possibility in christ please i want you to believe this this issue of being born again is not a choice it's not a choice people buy phones now their phones get missing and they cry for days because owning a phone now is almost not a choice let's institutionalize salvation let's make it part of the fabric of growth to make it look like you don't say okay if you want to you want to you better come out whether you know it or not you want to are we together eternal life what you believe about jesus is important you must believe that he came from heaven if you believe he came from israel you are not saved you are not a child of god there is a footballer called jesus he cannot save men he can play football but he cannot save men please let's clarify these loose ends quickly before we continue there are things you have to believe jesus himself said in john chapter 6 i am the bread that came from heaven he told us his location that he came from heaven you must believe that he came from heaven number two you must believe in his incarnation his incarnation is the mystery that made the world flesh the womb of the woman is that mystery the mystery that made the world the eternal word that was with god john 1 verse 1 become flesh many christians don't know this you must believe in the incarnation not reincarnation incarnation if you believe in the reincarnation of jesus christ you are an antichrist incarnation incarnation the word became flesh number three you must believe in his humanity he didn't just come and die and went away he walked upon the earth partook of the weaknesses of men there is jesus the man he walked upon the earth the bible says he was in every way like us tempted yet without sin if you don't believe in the humanity of jesus christ you will shortchange yourself from walking in the fullness of the life of god you must believe in the dominion he exerted by means of the presence of the holy spirit in his life not by means of being jesus the son of god when he came upon the earth he stripped himself of his godship and submitted himself as a model to the ministry of the holy spirit so every result gotten in jesus life was not because he was jesus it was because he was under the influence of the spirit so that we are not without excuse the same spirit that made jesus the christ is the same spirit that will make jakes the christ is the same spirit that will make Ejimi the christ is the same spirit that will make joshua selma the christ believe in the humanity of jesus he demonstrated the sovereign power of God flawlessly above creation, above principalities and powers. He demonstrated to us in his earthly life that Zoe is a possibility. Are we together? You must believe in the passion of the Christ. Theologically speaking, the entire event that took place beginning from the upper room, the communion. Where they received the Holy Spirit was where they had the communion are we together down to the experience in gethsemane down to pontius pilate and herod who used jesus as a scapegoat to become friends they were enemies but jesus look how powerful jesus was even before he died he reconciled enemies then you must believe in every activity the mystery of the whip for by his stripes we are healed the mystery of the crown of thorns that was put upon his head an exchange for our dominion restored you must believe in the mockery that he received you must believe in the fact that he was on his way to Golgotha the place of skull 
as an exchange for us jesus did not die on the road he was hung on a tree it was necessary that he had to be crucified if jesus died and it was not by crucifixion he would not be able to take the sins of the world there are conditions to be able to take the sins of the world number one you must become flesh number two your blood must be sinless number three you must enact a mystery that transfers the sin of men to you and that mystery is called the communion the communion is not what Christians take in church the communion is a sacrament there's a theological name for it. it is called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two people become one is what is used in marriage two separate entities by covenant still different personalities but one in the spirit and that is enacted through the communion John chapter 6 are you getting blessed tonight John chapter 6 let's read help us media let's read verse 35 okay just for time's sake let's run to 53 just four verses 53 to 57 John chapter 6 53 Jesus is speaking now then Jesus said unto them verily verily I say unto you he's introducing them to the mystery that will make the sins of the whole world come into him you have to understand it's not just that he died for us we died in him so you need to find out how we entered him because Galatians 2 20 says I am or I have been crucified with Christ not just that he was crucified for me are we together Jesus died for me that's an act of love I died with him that's identification there are two different things it's not just enough to believe he did it for you you must believe that you did it in him that's why we are seated with him but we must trace where the journey started verily verily I say unto you except ye eat of my flesh listen carefully ye eat of the flesh of the son of man and drink of his blood what will happen to you ye have no life you are living physically but you are not a possessor of my life now to eat the flesh and to drink the blood is a mystery there is a prophetic act called communion a physical prophetic act but it's a language remember Hosea chapter 10 right Hosea chapter 12 I have spoken to you by the prophets I have used similitudes similitudes it's in the character of God to use similitudes what we call prophetic act a foreshadow an um, adumbration of something physical like he told Moses to leave the rod and that rod is Christ so it's in the character of God that's what I mean by the universality of his character is consistent both pre-old old New Testament post new <laughs> hallelujah 54 who so eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath zoe there is and I will raise him up at the last day 55 for my flesh is meat indeed now this sounds like occultism so you have to understand my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed 56 he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth aha he's now switching the parable for you to understand that he's not necessarily talking of physically eating he's talking about a condition of intimacy that can be likened to eating and drinking prophetically adumbrated by a physical activity to eat the blood the body and blood of jesus is not just to eat things no it is a dimension of intimacy that begins by accepting and receiving him so he says dwelleth in me and i in him eating and drinking is an adumbration of a system that gets you into christ and gets christ into you last verse as the living father had sent me now listen and i live by the father do you know what that means that means i ate and drank of the father so i now live in the father that same system that made me to live by the father it says so that he eateth me shall also live by me listen 
are, are we you are intelligent now Jesus is saying the father gave me his life and he called how he got that life eating and drinking and he said the same way I ate of the father's life that means I ate of his flesh I drank of his blood to have his life so also that means we must understand how did Jesus receive the way number one he was born of the spirit of the father understand this he was born of the spirit of the father number two he was empowered by the spirit of the father number three he walked in obedience to the spirit of the father these three conditions translated to him eating and drinking he released the reality of the fullness of the life of God everybody look at me communion is more than bread and wine if your experience at communion stops at just eating bread and drinking wine you are carrying out a religious activity that is powerless the eating and the drinking only becomes powerful on the strength of your understanding it is your understanding that releases the life are we together that means hi hallelujah every day of my life i can be eating the communion when i do the i eat the communion certain things happen many of them we are going to look at it the bible says that we testify and we declare of the lord's death how do we declare of his death we died with him we are alive that means my being alive is a testament that he is alive when you understand all of these facets of this communion then you will find out you can release the possibilities that come with it healing breakthrough an invocation of the mystery of mercy I can spend all night talking about the mercy of God the mercy of God is a mystery that starts with sinners but is needed in the kingdom otherwise we will not attain that height mercy is a mystery in God that vetoes judgment in your life it has nothing to do with whether the judgment is legitimate or not the moment your life is in a situation where on legal basis the devil should prevail over you what you need is the application of the mystery of his mercy are we together remember when david took a man's wife are we together now david was a man who loved god he took a man's wife killed the man and when he had a man's wife a particular prophet came his pastor came and gave a parable he started with a parable and gave a parable a parable that reflected that a man bullied a man and took something and David said who is that man and he said you are the man you are the man do you know what happened the Bible says immediately David repented and sought for mercy and I think it was Abner his prophet he said ah the Lord has shown you mercy and you will not die meaning the price for that thing was death if David did not invoke the mercy like Saul he would die too so David did not become an heir to the throne and then a predecessor of Jesus because of perfection the difference between him and Saul was mercy there was nothing Saul did that David did not do the difference was mercy mercy is only available in Christ mercy is a mystery that Satan cannot give mercy is a mystery that pastors they can pardon but they can't show mercy we interchange the words mercy is a mystery mercy is not to be excused mercy is that they pay for you so you enjoy the freedom but at the expense of someone else's there are few men who can show mercy they can pardon you but mercy does not take away the price it only exempts you hallelujah tenants of the Christian faith unshakable foundations that will make a man remain in Christ doctrine will rise and fall 
denomination will rise and fall technology will introduce sects and rise and fall but after many years you will still be standing let me tell you if you ever fall in your christian race it's not because satan prevailed over you it's because your foundation was shaking when you don't know what you believe that make up your conviction the day you meet with somebody who is an intelligent professor who studied Scientology, he will sit with you and use quantum physics to wash away your intelligence and make you look at Jesus and say, I never knew you were, you were um, Buddha's mate. It's just that you came ahead of him. Every religion acknowledges Jesus, but what you acknowledge him as makes the difference. You acknowledge Jesus Christ as a carpenter's son. It is true, but you are still going to hell. Are we together now? Yes. I believe in him. And this is what I believe about him. This is what the devil, when he comes to your life, he probes the dimensions of your convictions satan is not a fool he doesn't come to attack men when he came to jesus he started throwing questions the questions were testing how far and he found out ah every dimension there was a word basis that word did not come by mistake he went to the temple from age 12 he had been learning he had been building when satan comes to your life he will begin to throw issues around your life to find what dimension of spiritual reality has not become spirit and life to you. That becomes his access point to your life. Satan cometh to me. So he will come to everybody, but he did not find. Meaning there is a possibility that he can find. Listen, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. You need to sustain an orientation in the spirit that defies every assault of darkness. For instance, the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are unseen, but the things that are seen. So if the devil wants to manipulate your senses to make you look like if you are truly in Christ, don't mind this stupid Joshua Selman and what he's saying. If he's really in Christ, why is A and B and C happening? The happening in your life does not change the fact that his life is in you. Our eternal destinies are determined by the, whether or not we are possessors of that life. But the qualities of our lives on earth are dependent on the extent of our partnership through faith with the Holy Spirit in order to release those lives. So if I look at a man's life and his life demonstrates a dimension of spiritual possibility that is not in my life, aside from other factors like the election of grace and other things, it must mean therefore that there is a dimension of partnership he has sustained with the Holy Spirit that I've not been able to come into it. That's why a family can have five people. Their father can be a pastor, but the extent of their results will differ. Are we together now? Listen, when Jesus walked upon the earth, he was very specific with his actions. He intended for certain things to be understood about his work on earth. That's why he had to reveal himself to Paul to document these mysteries. Although the disciples saw him, when he resurrected, he still was with them 40 days and then left them 10 days in the upper room to receive the Holy Spirit. But even in the midst of that, he still had to anoint a man, Paul of Tarsus, Saul, who later became Paul, to be able to articulate the mysteries Paul calls it the fellowship of the mystery. The fellowship of the mystery. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians 1, 2, 3 that we are alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life. Are we together now? Not experientially walking in the fullness of that life. Listen, tonight as we prepare to receive the communion, I want you to come to terms with certain things. Number one, you must have the brokenness and the unashamedness to admit that if there is anything in your life that is yet to reflect the fullness of Christ, it is not because of a limitation posed by God. It is that there is a dimension of partnership with the Holy Spirit. Are we together? That has not yet begun or has not yet come to fruition 
for you to experience that dimension you are only authorized to receive results if you can maintain that posture that my life and your life today is not a reflection of who God is but a reflection of how far we have chosen to walk with him it's an uncomfortable truth but victory starts from that standpoint either he lied or there's something wrong on our own part are we together so if there are witches appearing every night destroying your life you sleep and somebody appears now listen let me balance something to deny the existence of that possibility is another dimension of foolishness this is what sometimes we preachers do we say it does not exist no it exists you can only be exempted you can't stop it satan still has authority over the systems he's still the prince of the power of air he's called a prince the spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience for a season he's still allowed what happened is that god created a mystery that exempts you causes are real they are still at work yokes are real they are still at work they will still attempt you and until your knowledge bails you out knowledge of what the systems of the kingdom bails you out you will still be a victim of them so when you come to me as a man of god and say sir somebody came in the night and slept with me i said that's nonsense no you are not being accurate you may have ascended a level of understanding that exempts you from that experience but to deny the existence of that thing is a joke what i can do is i can introduce to you what christ gave to conquer it hallelujah you have won the victory lift your voice and sing unto him hallelujah you have won You are the risen King. You're seated in majesty. Seated in majesty. You are the risen King. You are the risen King. Hallelujah. My life and my experiences are too small to limit everything God said about Zoe. If I live my life today dying of sickness, dying of failure, my life cannot be a model enough to say this is all that is contained in God. And I must have the unashamedness to admit that my limitations are not caused by the inability of God to produce that result. It's been encapsulated in the way. It should be a challenge for me that there is a dimension of understanding through the ministry of the word, the ministry of the spirit, and the ministry of his body. We are members of his body, not just his spirit. We are part of the body. And the body as an entity holds possibilities. So I can love Jesus Christ, but I may not have been taught that part of his system is the introduction of apostles and prophets that can speak over your life. That can make me walk barren of the possibilities of God. But when I study through the word that there is a provision made like that, then I can align myself to that provision and now begin to walk in a new reality. Tonight is a night of brutal admittance. We have to come to a point where we admit that, listen, my father has not gotten a job for 20 years. My mother has not gotten a job for 20 years. It is not because God cannot release jobs. It is because there may be a dimension. Either they have refused to receive his life, partner with the spirit, understand his word, or discern his body. These are the causes. These are the things that are responsible for the limitations of people. So what we are doing tonight is not why you will be healed. What you are understanding now is why you will be healed. This understanding is what gives life to the wafers. The person who made the wine you are about to drink 
maybe somewhere you bought the wine he was doing business the person who made the wafers you're about to eat he may even be an unbeliever he just had that christians eat this thing often and he said this is a stream of income and produced it so you are eating somebody's value you are not eating power it is your understanding that translates that mystery like water turned to wine between the water and the wine was a word when a word came it turned the water to wine it is that word that understanding that will turn bread to his body and the drink to his blood color does not matter whether the color is green or blue it's only red to affect your psychology even if this is what you take it is your understanding in the kingdom power is released through understanding not just motion you tithe it is not the money that brings the power is the understanding that gives life to the activity that's why Jesus said this is how you will build and the gates of hell will not prevail upon this rock the rock is not Peter the rock is a system upon this formula you will build never speak outside of understanding so the system is that you first understand then you act when you act out of understanding you are building upon a rock when you act void of understanding you are building upon sand the sons of Skiva showed us a graphic example of that they spoke but there was no understanding and he said Jesus I know he built upon a rock Paul I know he built upon a rock but you are just speaking that means you come and eat because you heard that Bishop Oyedeko blessed communion and people took it and all of a sudden people were vomiting animals and then you take it and as soon as you take it as you are getting home the same spirit comes again because it's not the ritual the understanding is where the power lies so Paul I repeat Ephesians 1 for this cause it's not enough that you have received the way for this cause I have to go the extra mile to bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you that the Holy Spirit may reveal himself unto you as the spirit of wisdom and understanding so that you will know epignosis come into an understanding not awareness come into an experience where you and the information has become one when you understand this then you take that step and you find out that life is now released some of you because of this you will not even be able to hold the communion cup because you are now holding it now with understanding the demon that oppresses you has seen the light understanding gives life to the symbol remember the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding when that light comes that's what releases the power ordinarily you would have carried it and eaten and said can i take another one you see why paul rebuked the church in corinth they were not discerning the lord's body a time came when many of them started using the communion for alcoholism because they did not have a system of preserving this thing so they looked forward to communion services communion will always remain and then they didn't just take a little this thing this is just for social reasons and then to guide people financially but then you could have a big cup and fetch so there were people who would fetch and go and hide somewhere they didn't believe in Jesus and they would drink and Paul found out they were getting tipsy in the middle of an outpouring and Paul said no you people should come we need Bible study something is wrong you guys if you are hungry that's what Paul said if you are hungry do what go and eat in your house don't come to the Lord's house and violate his temple by eating he said for this cause this is it for not discerning for acting foolishly out of understanding many are weak many are sick many do sleep when was the last time you saw written in the grave of a man that he died because he didn't discern the lost body he said he died of cardiac failure for this cause so if i want to improve my life it's not all up to god the way is at work it's been available by grace but my partnership i must check the systems i'm ignoring i am ignoring the life of god like some of you are doing looking at me now not born again 
when you see people talk about get born again, say, forget about them, Jared. They are just hopeless people. After all, so 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 sociology said religion is the opium of the masses. That guy may probably be in hell now. Be careful. Are we together now? Hmm. Don't, don't, don't listen to junks. You can write it and pass your exams. But when it comes to your eternal destiny, you must be serious. You have rejected his life. Or you have rejected the ministry of his spirit. You have rejected the ministry of his word. You have rejected the ministry of his body. These are the provisions made. I want to ask you a question tonight. Which one have you rejected? You can easily know it by looking at your life. You have insulted every man of God you know by saying, look, forget it. I insult every man of God. We can all go to Christ. You have accepted Christ. You may have accepted his word, but you have rejected his body. There is a consequence, a bitter one. They are taken for a prey and none say it, restore. The Bible tells us that there is a system with which God built his ecclesia, the church. He said, Christ is the chief cornerstone immediately you meet christ he introduced two ministries called the apostles and the prophets they are the foundations of the church if you do not meet them your building cannot grow the cornerstone is there you ignore them you build nonsense it's a system it's an election of grace which one have you ignored some of you have ignored have supposedly admitted the ministry of the holy spirit you like power you don't doubt even if somebody jumps up and hangs in the air you like it but you have ignored the ministry of the word thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path that illumination that comes through his word you have pay attention to what i'm teaching tonight you have ignored that boundary of revelation and you will find out that there will be a lot of charismatism around your life and you will know which one is witchcraft and which one is of God because there is no compass there is no the word of God is like a buffer solution it defines the dimensions of the operations of the Holy Spirit so when you are going out of it the word of God guides you and says no every manifestation must be consistent with the character of God there are people who have embraced supposedly the ministry of the word the Bible calls them men who have camped around the baptism of John and ignore the ministry of the Holy Spirit Acts 19 remember have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed verse 1 and verse 2 they says we have not even heard whether there be any Holy Ghost and Paul was surprised they were believers disciples going through Bible study he said unto what then were you baptized they said the baptism of John and Paul said no the baptism of John was a baptism of repentance to the end that they should believe on he that should come even Jesus Christ and when they had it, the Bible says they were baptized in the name of the Lord. And Paul laying his hands on them, they now received the ministry of the Spirit of God. Right? They prayed in tongues and prophesied. The Bible says there were about 12 of them. Acts chapter 19, 1 to 5. Thank you very much. So it is possible to believe the Bible just because you inherited it from your pastor. But not walk with the Spirit. Jesus died. To make all these systems available his life in us exclusively given through the office of the christ but released by the interaction of that believer with the spirit of god the word of god the body we teach a lot about the word of god we teach a lot about the spirit of god but we ignore his body christ is the head he's not a head moving around that head has a body and he acknowledges that the body is part of himself and then in another mystery he calls that body his wife you don't ignore a man's wife and leave, and then he will laugh with you the bible said jealousy is the rage of a man so as you insult his wife simply because the wife is wounded are we together if a jimmy's wife has an injury and you say because of that she's no longer a woman and Jimmy will stand close to her first before he will give you a slap you say by this little act let it prove to you that when I said I do I meant it I also said I mean it so the man of God may not be perfect but he's still part of the system when you criticize him you are criticizing somebody's wife and that man will react are you hearing what I'm saying 
for this course i've taught it here go and get the teaching on the body of christ i told you the mystery of receiving from the body of christ was adumbrated in the parable of samson samson went to the philistines and he gave them a riddle he said out of something weak came something strong and they could not decipher the parable he killed a lion and then bees did not know where to go and put honey they went to a carcass and put honey there meaning if you must enjoy the honey you can endure the smell so you come to a man of god who is temperous but look beyond the temper there is an anointing there is always honey in the midst of the carcass this is the mystery of discerning the body you have to ignore the limitations that are in people so if the pastor does not look like you you may see him a yopi person and babs as if he's, he's some of these touts around this these vegas guys he may be that may not be the best but the truth of the matter is that he may be anointed the woman may dress and she may be careless you know like i was teaching a school of ministry students yesterday and i told them i went for a program and there was a woman of god who was introducing something and kai i'm not somebody who talks about dressing but mm -mm, even till today it's too much it's, it's not it's not she didn't leave anything to the imagination very bad for a congregation very bad for a congregation i say it again very bad for a congregation anyway it happened but the fact remains that the woman was very anointed can you endure the smell because the honey is there it's a mystery how the bees endure the smell to pitch it there there is this treasure let me give you the new testament translation that treasure is hidden in the bible didn't say in vessels in earthen vessels so you may not like me as a person but why don't you look beyond the limitation and see that there is a treasure that's why there is no church that cannot bless me if you search for jesus you will find him i've ministered in all kinds of places i remember when we were coming back from ekiti when we met some of the, the 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 men of god that prayed for us pastor jakes they could not speak yoruba that's enough to annoy me say so what is all this i'm the one who needs the miracle i need long life that baba cannot speak english but is walking in an experience of a reality what do you think we did we look for an interpreter there has to be an interpreter we found an interpreter who came and the man said we should kneel down now i have received jesus christ i am walking in partnership with his spirit i have received of the word but i discerned his body i would have said i'm a man of god i i was going for a crusade it was a powerful crusade mighty miracles and on the way we stopped and the man didn't even say you are pastors say kneel down first. really that's what he said and in yoruba he was just praying i didn't hear one thing he said but all i know is that that man was long he was living long enough for me to cover that grace which part of god's systems have you ignored please hear this message tonight is the answer to the prayer that demon that has oppressed you you have quoted scripture that's very good it's true that you are working with the holy spirit but your knowledge is limited but there is still out of his benevolence he has kept an anointing with a vessel one word go will set you free of 10 years of limitations but we will refuse and say look i know jesus christ by myself so you limit god's possibilities to only the revelation that the holy spirit and the word is permitted through your willingness and sometimes your lifetime may not afford you the dimension of revelation it takes for the result you need so you must tap into every channel that's what he meant when he told nicodemus you must be born of the water and the spirit otherwise you cannot enter you can see it but you will not enter seeing the kingdom is that it has come to you but entering it is becoming a testament of the reality so you can now say since i was young now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken no that thing was not a poem to be recited by everyone it was a man's testimony based on a dimension of possibility you have to make it yours before you speak otherwise you will keep mocking yourself this is what 
these unguided confessions that are not out of understanding will keep mocking us if ye are abraham's children you will do the works of abraham what was his work he believed god god told him something god said abraham i want to introduce a dimension to you i have not done to anybody and abraham believed god tonight is easter all over the world there are cathedrals there are ministries there are crusades packed full with the over two billion christians on earth attempting men of god there are tapes rolling all over churches right now every man of god attempting sincerely to reveal something that the people can take back about easter i brought to you a reality the bible says this is the record it was documented god has given us eternal life but this life is in his son and whosoever has the son has that life but grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge according as his divine power half not will half is a fact giving us giving us giving us every limitation in my life and your life is a revelation of something about the systems of god we have ignored or are still learning and have not come into that fullness when you know that you put an urgency to your pursuit for god for the more i know you the more i want to know you jesus more of you for the more i see your face the more i want to see jesus shortly we are going to take the communion please those relevant people let's station them there are three mysteries that the lord revealed to me that will be open to us tonight as we partake of the communion three number one the communion tonight is an encounter with the spirit of revelation we need revelation in our lives we need revelations in our lives brothers and sisters please hear me we need revelation in our lives the limitation of my life and your life is not dependent on satan is dependent on how far i can access the dimensions of the possibilities that the life of god can provide based on the knowledge that i have his life only gives you potentials your partnership accurate partnership makes it an experience tonight as you partake of this let something boil in you that all men are equal in christ but they are not equal in possibilities our possibilities are determined by the truths we have chosen to receive and the dimensions of the systems of the kingdom we have comprehended and so we must press hear what paul says he says this one thing i do forgetting the things that are behind i press there is something i need to know about death to stop being afraid of it there is something i need to know about poverty there is something i need to know about restoration there is something i need to know about fruitfulness the love of god is revealed when we study his systems the bible says the invisible things of god right the invisible things are seen they are learned they are taught by the things that appear so i look at and say what what kind of a man is this that grants me access to his life sends his spirit to me causes men moved by the same spirit to document more information the apostles did not have a bible all they had was the torah right the pentateuch the five books of moses but now god has gone the extra mile for our generation because he knows evil and wickedness will increase and he has left a document to still help us and then in addition to that he has empowered men and women in the body so that we are not without excuse and what a joy the lord has spoken to us this year that is our year of triumph that means we can walk with these systems of the kingdom 
when I was studying, I was just studying the passion of the Christ tonight and I was so touched looking at everything Jesus went through. Just for me. Just for me. Jesus came and did it just for me. Just for me. Just for me. Jesus came and did it just for me. That's what he did tonight. Well, the cross will always represent the love God had for me. When the Lord of glory heaven sent Gave all on Calvary Just for me he Just for me Jesus came and did just for me So what is the implication of tonight? I remember remember his sacrifice while he was on the way to Golgotha the Bible says that there were certain things in the mind of God and Paul was giving access to those things they were encapsulated in a document and Paul calls it a testament and then Hebrews chapter 9 Paul is speaking pastor Alpha read it there Jesus knew that those things would be activated only at his death so they were prepared and when he died there was still ignorance and he started moving through holy men to document these things to say now you have access i have died for every will is not yet activated until the death of the testator jesus died if he did not die eternal life will not be a reality he hung on that cross between two thieves a 33 and a half year old man naked there was no covering no he was naked and he looked at the world that he came to die for and the people yelled crucify him let his blood be on our children they were prophesying something that would really happen because his blood had to be on their children for them to be saved what was a statement of war was a prophecy let his blood be upon our children they didn't know that was why he was on the cross they mocked him let me tell you something Jesus did not go to the cross as Jesus he went to the cross as me and you when he stood there he saw me he saw Joshua Selman he saw Koinonia remember Acts chapter 2 they were caught in their heart and they said men and brethren what do we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and you shall receive that promise for the promise is unto you and unto your children and to your children's children he says as many as are afar off which the Lord will call this is where we came in in Acts chapter 10 reading from verse 38 down to 44 the Bible says the moment the Holy Ghost fell on all they that had him day of the circumcision the Jews said ah I perceive truly we now see that God is no respecter of persons but that in every nation whoever calls upon his name will be saved Tonight we are taking the communion. Number one, access to the spirit of revelation. According to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, I bow my knees and I pray for you, O church of the Lord Jesus Christ, that I desire you to release the reality of Zoe, that life that is indestructible, that life that is far above principalities and powers, the life that is capable of demonstrating dominion here and now the life that is characterized by victory the life of meaning the life of fulfillment the life of purpose but it's access through knowledge the spirit of revelation number two the second thing that the communion will release to us tonight is re-enacting that covenant of life through that prophetic act that we are going to be doing the Bible says he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life 
Do you know what that means? There are many things at work in your life now that were not sponsored by that eternal life. Watch this. My body, as designed by God, is supposed to grow through a system. There should be a symmetry and a synergy. Correct? If a boil starts coming out from here, that boil is growing not at the same pace with my body. Now, biologically, they can say something is responsible. But spiritually, we know that another life is responsible. So the result of that another life, I see it different from my body. So what you do is, by the mystery of the communion, you are taking it to your physical body, physical flesh and blood. It's a mystery that reminds the devil that every part of you was handed over to Christ. That means whatever is not a derivative of the life of God, put it scripturally, every tree that was not planted by my father, meaning there are other farmers. Are we together? There are other what? Farmers. For instance, while men slept, an enemy, he's a farmer. The Bible says he came and sowed. He's a farmer and left. Whether that sleep is a spiritual sleep, psychological sleep as a result of the weight of the vicissitudes of life, fatigue, several things happening in your life and you did not know and it weighed you down or as a result of real physical sleep, the activities of darkness. Listen, as you take this, I want you to discern the Lord's body don't just to discern the lost body is not to eat slowly to discern the lost body is to take it with understanding it's not that you close your eyes you take it slowly no 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 that is religion to discern the lord's body is that as you are taking this truly speaking this is wafers this is wine but the, my understanding authorizes the holy spirit to form an eclipse between that that activity that dinner thing and me and as I lift it, it's the same thing as the servants who were carrying water. While they lifted it, the distance between his word and your mouth causes a miracle to happen. This is what will make somebody hold it. And just the distance from the table to your mouth, you can't stand it. An anointing responding to your understanding. That's why somebody can take the communion and all of a sudden you feel you just took something small that before it got to your stomach a lot of itself was hanging around different parts of your body but all of a sudden you take it and you are already feeling fire on your leg did that thing get to your leg it's a mystery you only gave him space tonight can your communion be a body that you have prepared for him we have prepared a body remember a body has thou prepared without a body he cannot move so the communion just like the human body can become the body tonight that communion can be the hand that heals you tonight that communion can be the mystery that destroys the devourer for your non tithing and God can say I give you a clean slate start again tonight that communion can be a reversal of several things if you take it with understanding are we together so we are going to pray but before we pray overflow one overflow two by the road those online from any nation and any place you are listening to the first key is to receive the life of god's way the life of god is not christianity christianity was a description given to possessors of that life god is not initiating you into a religion he says come on to me listen there are people seated here looking at me inside and outside you are tired and you're saying apostle as i stand right now sincerely i don't even know what my life is about i have tried like the worship team sang i've done everything but tonight i am in all humility lifting my heart and my hands and saying i need that life my father refused to receive the life my mother refused to receive the life my brothers and sisters refused to receive the life i choose to receive that life and there are yet others who may say at one point i came for an altar call 
but sincerely i don't know the name of what i did i only know that they said congratulations and they gave me hamper i ate what was inside but nothing entered me and this night i want to eat of my the bread he said my bread is my body is meat indeed for in the sanctuary Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God is here. Wherever you are, just wait till I start counting before you come. I'm going to count one to five because of time. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, as I sat listening to you, I knew that I had to be sincere with myself and I knew that I have to win this war. My life does not reflect Zoe in any way. Number one, I have not even received it. Every time I hear preachers talk like Saul of Tarsus, I mock them and I say they are wasting my time. But tonight, I want to win that war. And number two, there are others who said, well, I know that I came and confessed something. For a while, I was even walking with God. But sincerely, I know between me and God right now that I'm not serious with Him. And I don't want any pretense again. Wherever you are, the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you. Overflow one, two, wherever you are. I want you to make your way here. I would have asked you to go to the overflow outside, but there is a reason why I want all of you here. So as I count one to five, there are people there. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Leave your seat and come out here right now. If you are ashamed of your friend, you are ashamed of your brother, you are ashamed of your sister, then you are wasting the mystery of Easter. Start coming. One. God bless you. Leave your seat and come. Don't be ashamed. Clap for them, Koinonia. Appreciate them as they come. God bless you. Keep coming. that flows from help me see Emmanuel's faith keep coming lose all their guilty strength the third mystery that you will receive tonight from the communion is an empowerment for a strange order of dominion please don't forget these three things don't forget these three things number one access to the spirit of revelation number two an exit of everything that was not planted by God there will be mighty mighty miracles and deliverances as you take this number three an empowerment for a strange order of dominion the centurion said for i am a man under authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say unto another come and he cometh speak the word only the bible says where the word of a king is there is power that as you partake of this communion something will come upon you the bible says that when you take it right first corinthians 11 when you take it that you announce you declare the lord's death the meaning of that is that you tell principalities and powers that the person you used to know is not the person now jesus died and i died in him and now the life that i live i live by the faith of the son of god another system so way god's life now this is what we are going to do i'm going to give you two prayer points we are going to pray seriously and um everyone outside you don't have to come there are the first overflow at the projector there is a provision like this the second overflow at the projector there is a provision like this and then in here we did it because of time now this is all you are going to do those here you would come this way just take the cup and the bread, drop the cup there and march this way. Those here, you will do the same thing. 
and then i think there'll be a provision here at the minister stand so that we don't have chaotic things please some of you will fall under the anointing as you do it just be careful and let's just coordinate them i want to pray and bless this now and then we are going to pray the moment you partake of it you go back and find a corner and begin to blast in tongues and pray these three things in your life that's happy Easter for you you have to pray it with all your heart and say lord i understand this mystery let my understanding permit the life of god to find expression prayer point number one lord i believe i believe but in case i do not believe help my own belief lift your voice and pray whatever is not of faith is sin lift your voice and pray pray inside and outside pray inside and outside Are you praying? Help my own belief. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. point number two Lord as I partake of this let the mystery of the communion be enacted in me whatever this represents I permit it to work in me lift your voice and pray seriously inside outside those online get bread and get wine or water get something that represents the communion hallelujah hallelujah please listen i want to pray for the communion first corinthians 11 from verse 23 the apostle is speaking and he says for i have received of the lord that which i also delivered unto you that the lord jesus listen that same night which was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me 25 after the same manner he also took the cup listen are you seeing the order so you take the bread then you take the cup he took bread and said eat then he took the cup and he says this is my blood of the new testament do this as often and then he says 26 for as often as he eats this bread and drink this cup ye do show the lord's death till he comes now he says for this cause verse 30 many are weak for not partaking of this with understanding many are weak many are sick and many among you sleep meaning if i partake of it with understanding among other things it should destroy weakness it should destroy sickness and it should destroy death that's the next prayer point lord weakness sickness and the plague of death any kind of death it lives my life now lift your voice and pray
lift your voice and pray. Victory. Victory. Over sickness, weakness, death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please agree with me. I want to pray. I tell you, I sense such a strong anointing in this place. I'm praying here at the projector stand everywhere. Those online, regardless of any nation, just go and get something. Water, wafers, food, whatever. It's just a token. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ father tonight I stretch my hands prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ upon this communion this is ordinary wine and wafers but Lord we command it to lose its earthly significance now and take on a heavenly significance and lord i pray using this as a point of contact to every other communion set around the world connected to us now i decree and declare that this becomes a type and a shadow a similitude of the body of jesus a similitude of the bread the blood of Jesus Christ and Lord I pray that as we partake tonight we access the spirit of revelation as we partake tonight every stranger in our life must go immediately and Lord as we partake tonight fresh fire for dominion and triumph in the name of Jesus therefore Lord we declare this blessed we call it blessed right now i put the word of god upon it and i declare that it will produce miracles in the name of jesus god bless you please start coming start coming quickly worship him help us let's just have some people come and stand open it up and then
Adau kaka sunangka Ubaingi jika isaya bo Nakir mama sunangka Ubaingi jika Jesus 
Please quickly, 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 What is wrong here? Why are there no people coming? Please, quickly, if you are coming, ushers coordinate them, protocol coordinate them, please. There's a lot to do. If you are coming, double up, please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's save time. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. There is no other name like Jesus. Are you praying? No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name. the only living God. Yes, Lord. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Say, and you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey. I say you are the only. God, yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. We praise it, 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 we love 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 it, living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. You are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. We praise it, 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 we praise it. We praise you. We praise you. We love 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 you. I adore 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 you. Oh,
the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Hey! You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Oh. You are the Lord. Let your name Let be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I say you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. I say you are the Lord. Let your name.
die You know be my You know be my Now you be God oh. Now you be God Almighty God Almighty God You know be my You know Hallelujah. Lift your hand. Something is happening to you. Something serious is happening in your spirit. Lift your hands. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and we, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I command a baptism. You have taken something in your body of the spirit of revelation. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. That fire upon you. Illumination. By the mystery of communion. Step into a new dimension of light, of illumination. I command your spirit man to comprehend with all the sense, the length, the breadth, the height, the depth. I call your spirit man rise higher, a higher dimension, a higher dimension, a higher dimension. Mantles are falling here tonight. Mantles are falling here tonight. Mother kites are rising from the gates of the church. The us are rising from the gates of the church. For the kings to be born, for revival to be born, for revivals to be born. For the kings to be born, Ali Ali oh, Ali oh, Ali oh, Ali Ali oh, oh, Ali Ali oh. Now listen to me. Any stranger in anyone's body now, whether by covenant, whether by sickness, right now as I speak, let the mystery of the communion speak now. I command judgment, every sickness, blood disease, covenants, right now, every tree not planted, help that lady, by my father. Let it go now. Let it go now. Terminal diseases, yokes of delay, limitations. I command it to give way. 
right now. Ah, I tell you, there is a strong impartation in this place. I want to activate upon you a grace. Listen, the Bible says, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou that they may come against you in one way, but that an unction from the Most High can be upon you and scatters them a thousand ways. The Lord has declared that it's a year of triumph. You are about to receive something that will make you run like Elijah. I pray for you. The mantle of strange dominion, strange dominion over principalities, over circumstances. Take it now. Take it now. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Take it now. I release that mantle. I release that grace. No limitations. No limitations. Breakthrough. Dominion. Breakthrough. In business. Breakthrough. In career. Breakthrough. In academics. I command it by the spirit of dominion. hear me anyone here who is a man of God you are in any kind of ministry may an unction for kingdom authority let it come upon you right now take it now take it now grace kingdom authority take it now dominion let that fire rest on your ministry let that fire rest on your church. Let that fire rest on your assembly. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Lord is giving you beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. And a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Eh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him, but in fact, this this is a baby. It's not even somebody as old as this. This is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick. Go dear, go dear, 
Godia. Come, your breakthrough has come. Where are you coming from? Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. I'm not talking of born again. Everything. Total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all good, yeah? I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is not of God. Madam, I will, there will be a prayer session and I'll pray for the son. But let me just lay hands on him since you came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have these kinds of dreams, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. He will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. do something to your spirit. It's an awakening that is happening to you. It's an awakening. I break the chains of limitation over you now. I cast those chains. I set them on fire in the name that is above all names. May those chains be broken. And I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will only be accurate. In the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac in ushering? See around. It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire, it's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him. He wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let that be. Everything that does not name the name of Christ may live gentleman you it's time to respond to the dream you had come it's a wicked forces of darkness tying your life and your destiny down with delay father in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of God that demonic dream and the experience that had that you had there let it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. The 
last person and then we'll just come, my dear, this lady. No, yes, come. You now, yes. Let no man despise you, for out of you will come a treasure. Let no one despise you. Let no one despise you. For out of you will come a treasure. The Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels. That the excellency, power may be of God and not of God. Come, hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today. That will make you uncommon. Uncommon. Distinguished. For you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise, I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. to your neighbor and say, are you still here? I just want to charge us a bit. Welcome everybody, all those who came from far and near. Honor you. Glad to have you here. You will never be the same. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from birth was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple who seen Peter and John follow me closely about to go into the temple asked an arm and Peter fastened, fastening his eyes upon him with John said look on and this is the key verse, verse 5. Let's read together. One to read. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something. Expecting to receive something. When he said, look on us, they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something. As I began to pray and say, Lord, what would I share with your people? The Lord said, the only thing I need from them is expectation. Expectation. Expectation is a proof of faith. Expectation is a proof that you trust God. Hallelujah. If you, if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket, automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something. Is that true? And so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you. The only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant. Expect that sickness to leave your body. Expect that family captivity to come to an end. Expect the Lord to visit you. Expect to step into new levels of the anointing. Expect that no matter what the challenge is, the power of God can step into your life. It does not take time. It only takes the spirit of God. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is not, there is no liberty. I want you to know that the spirit of God is in this place tonight. And the only message the Lord asks me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant. Expectant. Lord, I expect to be healed. I expect that you will wipe my tears. I expect that this situation in my life will change at once. I expect it. I expect it. Do you believe? Do you expect that God will do something in your life? God is already visiting people. You do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings. Talk less of the miracle service. So I want you to know that there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. Hallelujah. 
right away we'll begin to pray and I'll just be moving in the anointing and God will minister to us. Please and please let your heart be expectant. That's the only message the Lord asked me to give us tonight. Expectation. Expectation. Expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered. Expect that that which you came down. See, don't look at the situation. Just be expectant. Be expectant. The greatest enemy to expectation is your past, your history, your track record of failure, your track record of the seeming shortcomings of God. So every time you expect, you say, but I prayed before, but I fasted before. It says, forgetting the things that are behind, forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday, I press. Everyone say, I press. I press. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. That's for two to five minutes. That's the only message the Lord asked me to bring to us tonight. Expectation. Let there be a, a depth of expectation in your heart. Lift your voice and cry to God. And say, Lord, I am expectant. Pray. Lord, as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter. I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before. You will make decisions that will accelerate your life. Accelerate ministry. Hallelujah. In one minute, mention everything you came with as a challenge. And say, Lord, the time has come for your grace and your power. Shalom, shalom. 
Jehovah Shalom Shalom You're welcome in this place Shalom Shalom My Father Shalom Shalom You're welcome in this place Shalom, Shalom Jehovah, Shalom Shalom You're welcome in this place Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom. You're welcome in this place. One more time. Shalom, yeah. Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We're starting tonight with individuals that God is giving them breakthroughs. Every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the Spirit. At the count of three. Just those individuals. One, two, three. Now, now, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. That breaker anointing. I release it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. All the ones separated for breakthroughs right now. Inside and outside. I release that breakthrough anointing. That breakthrough anointing. Right now, that breakthrough anointing right now. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. It comes like a mighty rushing wind. The breakthrough anointing, the breakthrough unction. Enough of that level, enough of that dimension. I speak it, I declare it, I prophesy it, and I release it. Take it. From your belly, out of your belly, let it gush like living waters. Out of your belly, that breaker anointing in the name of Jesus. Out of your belly, that breaker anointing, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. I end the struggle. I end the struggle. I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing. I end the struggle right now. I end the struggle right now. All over the building. I end the struggle right now. Shaka ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ba 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 ba. Shakatekate and Protasekete, Elekatebo Sotoba, Parataricatebo Sekete, Seketekate, Reketebos, and Proskata, Rakati de Bosha, Seketele Kotosia. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah! Lay your hands on your stomach. He said, for out of your belly, something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly. Just keep your hands there. Father, in the name of Jesus, where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs. Right now. Right now. And right now, from your belly. From your belly. From your belly. From your belly. In the name of Jesus. 
out of your belly let it flow let it flow living waters living waters living waters new dimensions living waters skatata kapata rekete tekete bekata taboskata embrata kata shekete lekes from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought hallelujah 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 there are people here right now listen you came here because you are confused there is no direction you are trusting God for direction you are prayed but there is nothing to do you need direction desperately lift your hands Lord I pray wherever they are right now by the light of the spirit my father locates them receive direction right now receive direction right now marital direction academic direction receive direction receive direction I put it in your spirit by the light of God I put it in your spirit by the light of God I put it in your spirit by the light of God by the light of God by the illumination of the spirit direction you will hear that voice you will hear that voice you will hear that voice saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands the Lord wants to destroy marital delay this is what is happening right now marital just keep your hands just do what I'm telling you to do hallelujah now hear me there are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny but there are horns and powers that has kept them down you may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that but the enemy has done this lift your hands father in the name of Jesus I release you right now I release you I release your family I release your sisters that power that has held your marital destiny hear the voice of the Lord that power that has stopped marriage in your family I speak in the name of Jesus be loose right now 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 hallelujah now lift your hands I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit and so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness 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 there is someone who came here with that situation I don't know if it's a couple or somebody you are expecting a miracle desperately let me have that one person come out I'm going to pray for everybody right now but we need to break that yoke right now we need to break that yoke right now there are families tied down 
there are families tied down when you identify that person the person can come out lift your hands let me pray no the Lord wants the family to come out first come out first celebrate Jesus Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courier and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Because Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years. And is living because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, the church tried to call her. She didn't answer. So I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. She's I need to pray for you. May God she bless does. you. Let's celebrate the friend. <laughs> Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. Ogasa. Do you believe your wife will come back? Yes, sir. You want her back? Yes. I'm going to pray for you. Your wife will return back. Amen. Forget about what has happened. God will give you two boys, two girls. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. that what do you do i work in an electronics company samsung so when we had this issue of this marriage they have to let go of me but i have my own personal business in Kaduna, which i know I god is helping you yes, this marriage has destroyed too many things in your life you've lost money you've lost a lot of people even cars because i'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed but it's like things are going down Lord is going to restore you. Amen. You believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined, the Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabaka Protoso Pratiya. I release your destiny right now in the name of Jesus I call forth your wife into your life and I open the fountains of fruitfulness the Lord showed me two boys two girls and I release them to your life this power that has tied you down and tied your family in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that it is released right now in the name of Jesus I'm holding your hands and with these hands may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known and I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune and he will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ friend come where are you from Kaduna to Zaria yeah. Zaria here yeah. you came alone yes no I came with a friend what would you want the Lord to do in your life Marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health in your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them 
and in the name of Jesus I declare that before this year runs out your husband comes to you and may you be happily married you will marry a godly man may you marry a blessed man one who will love you and fear the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen God bless you sir now lift your hands and let me pray I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. It says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit but the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness. Where are those people who barrenness have held their lives? Where are those people? In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon you now. Let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building, I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this row. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this row. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. 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 To the front. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness. Right to the back. In the name of Jesus. Be set free. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. When the spiritual limitation is taken away, then your life will move forward. What will happen tonight? It's not just for you, but for every family you represent. So there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered. Not just for themselves, but for their families and the families you represent. Lift your hands. Father, in the name that is above all names, I'm praying. There are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories I speak in the name of Jesus by the authority of the Lord Jesus and I come under an apostolic anointing I bring every spirit under arrest and I command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and they must leave you one two three 
spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now come out now come out of God's people in the name of Jesus bring them out in the name of Jesus I cost those powers I cost those powers I cost those powers I cost those powers hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands I see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams make intercourse with them and destroy their lives keep those hands lifted Lord where are those people let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment Sisters, lift your hands. A spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother. Because with one sister, there are many people that can become victims. Not because of immorality or anything. It's just the nature, the compelling character of women. I pray right now. Anyone here, whether you know it or not, that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God. I pray and stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish. There are families that start things. You've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it. Lift your hands. The finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny. Coming upon you for your family. Receive it right now. One, two, three. The finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay. The finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay. Projects that have refused to finish. Projects that have refused to finish. Hallelujah. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. 
It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists, give us very anointed tunes. Worship team, help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you are seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are. Connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All of you who have come out I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it hallelujah praise the Lord I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now hallelujah we'll be very fast about it yep. just give her a chair Hallelujah. All of you standing here believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now when that happens then it will allow us to pray for the sick right now thank you Jesus father let there be miracles I see miracles everywhere be discerning be spiritual Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, this right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now.
He will walk well now. And that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. And tell him to go. What's this? The medical report. Okay. Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon you. Stomach bloated. Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. Come to 
what's going Heaven on now? under oh, oh, oh. Heaven Baba Do this Do this Do this Sweet music From twin strangers What just happened to him? Yes, 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 sir. yes, Let me tell you something. It's not only settled. I pray for you. Yes, sir. That not only this will happen, but God will use you to do this. Amen. Same thing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Baba, tell him from today. No witchcraft power. No chan. Will paralyze and keep him again. Appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.
stretch your fingers. fingers they can't they are not working for eight months. your hand yes. for how long eight months why you just uh, after i said playing the guitar you started playing the guitar and then playing guitar some, yes sir. see strips things he has been playing guitar for as long his fingers are as fresh as that of a baby this thing is not because of guitar this is witchcraft the devil does not want you to play onto the glory of god oh, you if you want play. to play for a club now this hand will be healed the devil is a liar Hallelujah. That's how he keeps robbing the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? All this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you and the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? And then you move your whole hand and begin to try it. Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. Cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move it. Go ahead. Begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead. Move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned. You cannot even use it. Keep doing it keep shaking it the power has gone and your hand recovers completely in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen give jesus praise
To him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. In a place, oh, you say, Oh, you say, Now we say it again. Call to him, he will run to us. Give me a Come now, pray. Praise His name, oh, of God. Hey, oh, sing for joy through God. Oh, sing for joy. To him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, or you say it's our God. One time, if we call to him, he will run to us. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hell from there, day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell.
Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we sing. Oh, say it. Yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing. Oh, say it. Yeah. I say yeah, eh. I say yeah. win oh, baba. I say yeah. I say yeah, eh. I say yeah. win oh. Oh, say yeah. I say yeah. win oh. I say yeah. I say yeah. win oh. I say yeah. Jesus. Jesus Glory be to the Lord 
kind God does. Said I never, 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 never see a kind God. This kind God does. Said blessed be this kind God does. I never see a typo. I never see a typo. This can go do. To the Lord in the highest. Give the Lord your best dance. Give the Lord your best shout. Give the Lord your best rejoicing. He's worthy. Aha. Uh -huh. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. the Lord. Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request 
represent the challenges of your people. This request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny. This request threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives. We pray in the name that is above all names. That every request here be turned into a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how impossible the situation is, oh God. I pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some. I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. Please, everybody inside and outside, don't let anyone distract you now. Lift your hands as we speak. Hallelujah. I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed. The power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things. Please, I want you to believe. Please, I want you to believe. No matter how far you are inside and outside, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Everything that represents limitation in your life. Everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny. I come in the name of the Lord God, the Lord God Almighty, and I declare that in this month of May, may that limitation be lifted up your life. May that limitation be lifted up your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are, whatever wrong advice, whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid. Makata katakata, sheketekete baka, emproto seketelekata, mankratos katabalatapa, rebeketekete bela debos. I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. Hallelujah. I pray for you. This is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level. Listen. The Bible says through wisdom a house is built. And by understanding it is established. Through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing. Wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level. And this is not human wisdom. It's not wisdom by scientific calculation. Strategies that are revealed of the spirit. Strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you. I pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion. Lack of direction. There's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do. 
it can be frustrating when you are clueless you are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do but there is the spirit of counsel and mind the, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion hallelujah i pray for you part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities hagar listen hagar was in a place it was a desert but there was water her eyes could not see it. but when the angel of the lord appeared unto her suddenly she saw water i pray you have been passing what can bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of may the anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you i release it upon you now i release it upon you now where men see obstacles may you see opportunities where men see stumbling blocks may you see stepping stones in the name of jesus the bible says god has not given us the spirit of fear fear has kept many people from moving forward fear of everything fear of death fear of failure fear of taking action fear of moving even when god says move you say i'm afraid start that business i'm afraid take a step to marry i'm afraid do this i'm afraid move on further i'm afraid i pray for you in the name of jesus every manifestation of fear every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress that keeps you from being afraid every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step i cause that fear now i cause that fear now i cause that fear now when they got to the red sea they were afraid and when moses went before the lord he said tell the people to move forward the signs don't go before you they follow you you will have to take a step as a sign that you trust god take the step and die taking it let it be that it was god that killed you there is no man that took a step in the name of the lord that did not return with a testimony for some may trust in horses others may trust in chariots but for us we trust in the name of the lord and everything we do in the name of the lord he said whatsoever you do in word and in deed do it in the name of the lord i pray for you again fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up fear has stopped people from applying in places high places they think they are not qualified fear has stopped many of us fear has stopped you from starting the building project who said you are too young so long as god gives you the signal there are some of us all of us are adults in our house but our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow because of fear you have ten thousand go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it here tell the devil i'm coming look let me tell you you will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if i perish i perish 
I pray the boldness, the audacity, the strength, the audacity to ride through without exhaustion, to ride through without fear. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma teke 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 ta. Shekete leba. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year I declare by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road. No terrorist will attack you on the road. When others say there is a casting down, it will never be your testimony. For you, it will be that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, I pray over your finances. The grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future, I release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers i cause it to his root now in the name of jesus christ i pray for those trusting god for a miracle job I tell you the truth when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones I pray in the name that is above all names may God give them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of Jesus and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died I call it back to life in the name of Jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocre the voice of limitation I silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life. I pray for every ministry represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every business represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every job represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every family represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every destiny represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory.
the bible says thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over there is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup my source of supply to run over i pray for you the anointing that will give you wisdom the anointing that will give you creativity the anointing that will give you ideas insight concepts strategies for wealth i release it upon your life in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you in the name that is above all names every habit every issue every challenge every weight on your life that is eating up your christian integrity that is eating up your walk with god you love god but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin i pray for you the hand of the lord lifts you out of that nonsense the grace of god picks you out of that limitation grace to say no to every appearance of evil grace to say no to everything that is ungodly in the name of jesus christ i pray a special prayer for our brothers i curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility one more time i curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are that entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success i curse that mindset in the name of jesus from today i release upon you grace grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood in the name of jesus christ i pray for you you will not need to defend yourself the lord god almighty will be your defense the lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress in the name of jesus i prophesy restoration for everything you have lost restoration 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 in the name of the lord jesus and i pray for you a new dimension in the spirit a new level of prayer grace a new level of word grace a new dimension of encounters with the spirit of god where you are becoming lukewarm where you are losing the initial standard of your christian experience where you are already bending bending against the things that would make you powerful i pray for a restoration for you where you have lost the voice of the spirit i command that you be to hear his voice again where you have lost zeal for the house of god i command a restoration for you in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you all through the remaining part of may into june let it be a month of testimonies for you beginning from tonight in the name of jesus christ all those who have been looking for you to bless you may this be the season they find you all those who have received instructions from god to hold your hands and lift you up with no strings attached but have not been able to find you i pray listen listen samuel had already been ordained i mean saul ordained to be a king but he needed to find samuel and they kept searching and he could not find samuel until by the wisdom of god they were able to find him you can be one anointing away from the next level of your life you can be one prophetic impartation away you can be one destiny helper away i pray again for you whoever has been looking for you like the lost ass of samson of, of saul whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you may this be the season they find you in the name of jesus christ and finally i pray for you nothing will rob your joy this month this will be the month of june will be for you a month of joy and laughter in the name of jesus christ 
before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting, thank you for lifting. My head. hallelujah now keep standing everybody you're here and you need to return back to Jesus Christ keep standing everyone you've heard the word of the Lord and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him or you've once given your life to Jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight we will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life. Wherever you are, make your way to the front right now. We have one minute for this. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for anybody to be the first to come. Make your way. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming inside and outside. Celebrate them, Koinonia. God bless you as you come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed. He will give you a new beginning. And he will supply grace. That you will go higher and higher. Higher and higher. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus, don't sit back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus. Just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is, this is a confession that brings salvation unto you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord. I receive of your life. I receive of your spirit. And I declare that from today, my sins are washed away. I am a brand new person. The hand of God is upon me. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is not of God, I take authority over it. I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to congratulate you for making this decision. It's the best decision you can make. This decides your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details. They will welcome you more warmly. And then we'll communicate to you through them. God bless you. This way. Draw that baby. Baby, this way. No, 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 no. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshipping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Come on, Koinonia. You can do better than this. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, 